So in general, the main aspect behind machine learning is that you, as, as you already mentioned, you brought up the keyword training. So instead of programming an algorithm and hard coding it, you want to have uh, something that you can train on lots of experiences and it will become better from, these, uh, from observing these experiences, from observing the training data. So that's the underlying principle and the way it's implemented is uh, using artificial neural networks and they are called like that because they are inspired by what goes on in our brain. Our brain simply consists of uh, billions of neurons uh, which are simply biological cells connected to each other and sending electrical pulses back and forth which do the data processing and the way they are trained is that the strength of the connections changes with time, with experience. And so uh, people already 70 years ago or so had the idea maybe we can implement this on an actual uh, electronic computer. Uh, so maybe we can build a platform where we also have many, many very simple units that can communicate with each other and where the connections between these units can then also adapt themselves over time uh, by some training procedure. So back then, 70 years ago, they did not yet quite know the proper training procedures to train this efficiently, but at least they had the conceptual idea of how to set up such a structure and what you would want to do with it. And then, um, so nowadays, uh, an artificial neural network as it is used nowadays just consists of uh, many units which are much, much simpler than biological cells. So a biological cell is of course fantastically complex, but in an artificial neural network, each unit at any given time only holds a single number, which if it is bigger means the unit, the neuron is activated more strongly. And if it's smaller, then the neuron is not activated. And then uh, there's a very simple algorithm. Usually they are arranged in layers and there's a very simple algorithm to compute the neuron activations in one layer from the neuron activations in the layer below. So there's a very simple mathematical formula to go from here to there. And then in layer by layer fashion, you go from the so-called input layer where you put in the input signal like a representation of an image to go from there to an output layer where you really learn uh, say what is the meaning of the image if neuron one uh, is activated maybe it's a dog if neuron two is activated maybe it's a cat uh, and the the part that can be trained is really the connection strengths between the different neurons and then there's extremely efficient algorithms that can update these connection strengths based on all the training data that you are looking at